Hi, I thought I would do a redo here a little bit of my streets and trips map since a couple of questions have come up and things I think I omitted in uh, my last little video on how to use this. But uh, again, Microsoft Streets and Trips, very easy to use, uh, quick, uh, doesn't require internet connection, uh, and is able to, more importantly, uh, export uh, the files to uh, Garmin GPS. So uh, I've got the map here as it opens up uh, from the icon. And when planning a trip, you're going to be working with uh, or information displayed in uh, <laughs> this uh, darn suction cup mount is just not worth a crap. And uh, coincidentally, I'd just done this video a minute ago and halfway through it uh, loosened up. So I guess we'll you just have to bear with me here a little bit. So anyway, uh, we want to uh, have our trip planning uh, section up here. So to do that, we open up the uh, route planner here from the little car on the upper toolbar, and that opens up our route planner. And so I'm going to play with or just map out a proposed ride here to Sisters, Oregon, uh, for an upcoming uh, possible ride of our group. And so I want need to zero in here, and you can any time just zero in with the, with the roll bar on your mouse, for instance, or you could use this. Uh, but you can also uh, right click or left, you know, right click and draw a box, click in it, and it will zoom in to the area you want. I am going to suggest we're starting at Bellevue, which is sort of a somewhat central location for most of the riders in our group. So I'm going to right click on here and uh, I'm going to select route and add as start. Occasionally you'll see a different box pop up when it's not sure of what location you actually want offering you the ability to choose one. Uh, I just click on it and choose whatever it gives me. Uh, now we're going to go down to Sisters. So I scroll down a little bit here to the Sisters area. Whoops. And uh, we will select Sisters right at Warm Springs actually. Where is Sisters? Uh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Right click and route, route and add as end. And uh, this uh, shows us our starting and ending or current points. Get directions. We'll draw a we'll draw a route. Normally, I don't want to see all this up here while I'm working, so I will just uh, move the mouse to here and scroll this up. So it just shows me my mileage. So right now, of course, we're not going to come down. <coughs> I-5, they'd have to throw me out of the group if we did that, uh, but in any case, uh, and I will also note it's 329 miles that, with that route. So we're going to come over here to NF-25 uh, for right now, so I'm just going to highlight anywhere along I-5 or put my hand there, and I'm going to right click, and, sorry, I am going to left click and drag it down here. So that drags my route down to 25 and reroutes me down the Wind River Road which uh, is a nice ride. I'm gonna go back up to here where I may not do this right away normally but uh, just for purposes of this uh, and I also know it's 350 miles. Um, again uh, I would never take a group down Highway 161 and I think it's extremely rude of anybody who would lead a group down this stretch of road. It's terrible. Uh, through major uh, city areas, so lots of stoplights that aren't synchronized. It's just uh, painful. Uh, but we are going to come down 405 and 167 to get out of town rather than spending hours wandering through this area. Uh, so we'll go to Ording. So I would normally say the ride starts basically at Ording. And uh, of course you can see it's routed us back here. I don't. So we'll uh, left click there, bring it over to Orville road here and we'll also bring this over here to Orville Road and that's uh, completed the route through here and um, you may find once you put it in your GPS you may need to add some points sometimes the GPS sees the route differently so uh, uh, but I think this would be enough waypoints for it to work but again once you put it in the GPS you need to check it and you might find it's routed you a little different and it requires that you move or add a waypoint so that will take us down uh, pretty much standard Route 7, LB to Morton, and then Randall, and then down behind St. Helens. 
this area here always draws this route here, uh, so we don't want to do that right now. Uh, so we can go in here and uh, drag that over. And that'll take us where we want. And so then uh, we run down here to uh, Curly Creek and Wind River Road, or uh, yeah, Wind River Road. And uh, we'll cross the river here to, into Hood, to Hood River and run down 35 for a ways. Uh, I have looked at this idea here of jumping over to the slow low pass road. However, I have no idea what kind of road that is. And again, we're already at 354 miles. So uh, I could, if I wanted to, see what it looked like by dragging us over here and seeing that that's brought us to 374. So uh, we could leave that in for the time being if we want. And uh, we'll run on down here. And what I was looking at for, though, was the uh, Detroit Lake area. So uh, we scroll in here, and uh, so sometimes you need to obviously get to where you can see the road. So I need to, uh, I'm looking for this road here, but I want to rather, I could just plop a marker in here. I don't know, I don't usually like, so I could go here, right click, root, add as stop and get directions. So in that case, that added that fine. I usually like dragging it, but uh, that added that fine. And uh, of course, it routed through uh, this Forest Service road uh, here in the NF42, which um, if you look at, or the Oregon motorcyclists or other folks, I think it's widely known that this is a paved road. Uh, you could also go up to 58 if we wanted. Of course, that's taken us over 400 miles. Uh, so, uh, but we'll leave that in again for now. And then that runs us right down to Sisters. So this would be one potential route here. And uh, right now then I want to save that. So I'm going to go up here to File and Save As. And so, you know, you probably want to uh, sort of save these routes into something that makes sense to you when you're trying to find them again. Uh, so I'm going to go to the folder I've called My Garmin and Routes. And this particular ride we're planning for here is the AAA and I'll click on that and I have a Sisters folder in there. And so here are previous folders that I had uh, saved. And so you might, uh, usually I like to try to name these, although the names can get quite long, uh, with uh, sort of the description of the route so they're easier you know, so you know what they are in the future. So for instance, Sisters, Cougar, Cascade Highway, Edson Ice Cave, Ice Cave uh, 230 miles. So uh, I've named that one. Uh, in this case I'm going to, and I don't really want to let go of my mount on the camera, so one hand I'm just going to say Bellevue, uh, Two Sisters, and this is going to be uh, v version 2 v2 would normally cap that and it's gonna it's 411 miles and in this case we'll put a spacer in there uh, I can read I can fi fi figure out a better name later but uh, so we'll just go ahead and save that so that is saved that route so in the future if I ever want to uh, pull that route back up again. There's several ways to do that, uh, but you know I could uh, go in here and uh, data route route and clear route. Uh, I could of course go file and it gives me my last files. I can go open and browse to my um, full uh, folder that the file's in, or I can also just go to the folder. Garmin, Routes, AAA, Sisters, and I can go to the Sisters uh, file right there. Just click on it and it will open that up. So I can now go ahead and uh, play with it and uh, you know save it as a separate, different file, rename it. Uh, if this file is what I want and I now want to file for my Garmin, I go to Route or data, export to GPX file, 
In this case, I would keep it in the same file, and you know, I'll just go. So you can see as you type in a name here, it, it looks and sees existing files. So it's the Bellevue to Sisters file, but I don't want the EST on there. So I'm going to just remove that. And uh, we'll go ahead and save that. So that now has saved that file. Another way to bring back a file is just to uh, open up the GPX end. So we'll clear out. And if I go in here, data and import, and uh, here's my uh, Bellevue to Sisters file. And I can go ahead and uh, open it up. And it's put the waypoints in here. So I would have to click on Get Directions. And there it is. So that's pretty much Streets and Trips. It's, uh, you know, if, the, if we tried to do this in Google, um, this may work, but for me it would take forever. I'm not sure if it's just my computer, which is a fairly decent computer, uh, but it just takes too long. Uh, finding waypoints, uh, quite often you have conflicts with the waypoints, and also uh, you will reach a point where you uh, overload the capacity of uh, what it can do, and your route goes to heck. So... Uh, Anyway, that's uh, Streets and Trips, and um, if you uh, want to try it out, you can download uh, from Microsoft a 60-day free trial, full operating package, uh, play with it for 60 days. Uh, I have wondered about the idea of whether you could delete it and reload it, but uh, it is, again, only it's in the $30 area. There are links on my website for it, but uh, I, I think it's uh, quite uh, well worth it. Anyway. That's it for now, and uh, we'll catch you later.